Welcome back. So in this session, we're going to use the matrix method to solve this linear system of differential equations. These are x dot equals 6x plus 5y, and y dot equals x plus 2y. So why don't you take a few minutes to write down the system in matrix form and go through the, method of the matrix method to solve it, and I'll be right back. Welcome back. So let's write down this system in matrix form. We would have a vector with entries x and y prime equals a matrix with entry 6, 5, 1, 2. Multiplying the column vector x, y. So now we did a big part of the work. The matrix method tells us that we need to find the eigenvalues of this matrix to be able to basically diagonalize it and seek eigenvectors so that then we can just read off the solutions and write the solution of the system as a linear combination of the eigenvectors that we found. So let's look for the eigenvalues first. The eigenvalues would be computed by seeking the determinant of this matrix. in this form. 6 minus lambda, 5, 1, 2 minus lambda. We're going to have an equation on lambda, solve for lambda, and the solutions will be our eigenvalues. So the determinant would be 6 minus lambda multiplying 2 minus lambda minus 5, 1.5 equals to 0. So here the lambda dot lambda gives us a lambda square. We have minus 6 lambda minus 2 lambda, which would be minus 8 lambda. And then we would have 2.6, which is 12, minus 5, which gives us a 7. So quadratic question on, in lambda, and you can factorize it and find the solutions, which has lambda 1 equals to 1, lambda 2 equals to 7. OK, so we're done with the first part. First part, these are eigenvalues. They're not repeated. They're just uh, completely different and real valued. So now we're going to look at the eigenvectors associated to each eigenvalue. Um, so. so first eigenvector would be associated with lambda 1 equals to 1. Okay. So we would be solving the system. Uh, we would be solving the system with the new matrix, 6 minus 1. I'm going to spell out this one so that 2 minus 1. So this is just our lambda. Multiplying an unknown vector with components n1 and a2 equals to the zero vector. And basically here, the unknowns are a1 and a2. Okay. So this is simply 5, 5, 1, and 1. A1, A2 equals to 0, 0. So as you saw before, here basically we can read off the equation as being 5A1 plus 5A2 equals to 0, and another one which is A1 plus A2 equals to 0. They are the same equations. So really, we just have A1 plus A2 equals to 0. And so our vector V1 could be picked to just have compo component 1, for example, a1 equals to 1, and its second component would just be minus 1. That would be one pick for our v1. Okay? We could normalize this vector if you wanted to. I'm just going to keep it like this for now. So if we look now for the second negative vector corresponding to the second angular value 7, I would be looking for the components of this vector by doing the similar solving for the same thing. And I'm going to spell it out again so that you see where the terms are coming from. It's just 6 minus the value of my lambda. Zero. Zero. So here we have 6 minus 7, which is 1, 5. And then we have 1 and 
2 minus 7, which is minus 5. So really, what do we have is an equation minus 1 plus 5a2 in both cases. So we can pick a value for, v1, for a1 or a2 and write down a vector v2 in, for example, the form of a1 equals to, let's pick a2 equals to 1, and we would have a1 equals to 5, for example. Again, if you wanted an orthonormal uh, basis formed by your v1, v2, you would just normalize these two vectors. So here, basically, we can then rewrite the solution to the original system as being a linear combination of, so I'm just going to write it in vector form, the first vector 1. I keep it in v1, v2, that way you see it. And then I'll go into the components. We go, we'd have v1 exponential of the value of lambda we found that corresponds to v1, so it would be 1.t. And then v2 exponential of the lambda value that corresponds to v2. Okay. And then, uh, basically, we would just have constants of integration here. And so the solution to this problem would be linear combination of the vectors formed by our, the basis of our eigenvectors and multiplied by the exponentials assigned the values of the eigenvalues that we found when we looked for uh, the eigenvalues of the matrix of the system. So here, just know that like for the linear, like for the 1D problem that we saw before, we're building a solution based on linear combination of, of lucky guesses that we used. And in the one equation case, we used a guess of e to lambda t in a 1D. Here, in this case, we had a, ge a guess of a vector v in the form of lambda t that we used. And then, basically, we just solve for the lambdas and f solve for the v's and did a linear combination of all those solutions, like we did before in the 1D case. We solved all the lambda, we had different values of lambda, and we did linear combinations of those exponentials. So that ends this problem. And here the key is just to go through the method of diagonalizing your matrix. Basically, it's finding the eigenvalues and then computing the eigenvectors associated with that and writing your solutions in terms of the linear combination of the solution that you found.